Your love is all I want and all I need. It's true. It's me, Roger Malou, Roger Love, and I'm um, excited to be here. This is going to be one of those episodes that I just jump on and I speak my mind. I've had this saved in my Premiere Pro for almost a month, but I just haven't added any audios to it, which I'm doing now. And I've also just been very stagnant when it comes to creativity and um, video making. Um, everything is taking such a long time because it, um, the way I'm making things at the moment, uh, people are also involved and it also involves me getting out of my room and I just don't have time to do that because I have uni and I work almost every day. So that makes it hard, but I'm in a season, a season of growing my will and also just becoming a man that uh, lives by his words and um, I don't, I'm not flaky anymore. I say what I say and I follow through with it. And um, today's one of those or nights because I'm recording this at 2:40, 2:53. So yeah. And the topic that I want to touch on is artistic integrity and also just taking the right steps, knowing what to do, making the right decisions. I want to start off this episode by telling a little story or just explaining my life journey. I think last year or the year before, I was going through this like phase of just comparing myself, being insecure, um, feeling like I deserve more uh, because of the skill set I was at. I was kind of like, surely, uh, like they sh- I should be getting more, right? Like I'm getting better. Why am I getting no jobs? And I started to lose focus of why I do this, you know, like. Like I completely lost focus for a little bit. I was so sucked into feeding my flesh, my ego, and everything was just going wild in my head. Um, (laughs) That's the best way to put it. And the reason why I tell this story is just to make you question like, why do you do what you do? And also, you know, what's the reason behind it? Like where is your heart at? And how much are you willing to sacrifice um, to feed your flesh you know like is it worth it like your mental health Um, like who are you doing this for Um, and the final thing is to be honest with yourself I remember when I started I knew I was bad I would look at the photos and be like man these photos suck but I had a vision I had a goal and that wasn't gonna stop me but the only way I got better is by knowing my strengths and weaknesses so yeah start from there and work your way out have grace for yourself love yourself and um, love the people around you uh, as well because there's gonna be people in your life that truly love what you do more than you do and you gotta when you find those people um, hold on to them you know Um, because those are the real ones they are the real ones those people that uh, they're the best (laughs) not me getting emotional I'm about to cry on a mic (laughs) but yeah that's my message for today and I hope you enjoy it let's have more conversations later I'm gonna go to sleep it's like (laughs) 11.16 p.m.